Today it is finally time for the Kalos legendaries as Paradox Pokemon. There are only 3 of them, but I went out of my way to get you more than 3 drawings. Our first transformation of today is for the core form of Zygarde. Like I just said, I didn't want to give you just 3 drawings, so I had to be creative. I quickly whipped out my drawing pencil and started tweaking the little fellow. I didn't want to make too many changes, because it still had to look like a weakling. But I did want to play into the animal side a bit more. I gave him a proper tail so he would function like a snake, just like the 50% form. I also gave him small serpentine teeth and small grippers to play into the idea of snakes developing into armless creatures. The last thing I had to do was to give him some makeup next to his eyes and that was already it. Morphicore the Paradox Pokemon. This Pokemon is very good at hiding, so most species don't even know it exists. It is able to camouflage very easily to avoid being an easy prey. It seems to act quite similar to parasites, and we believe that it isn't using its full power. This Pokemon is nothing other than another cute little friend you'd like to add to your team. There can never be enough cute Pokemon you can hold in your hand in my opinion. Up next is a 10% Doggo form of Zygarde. I must admit that I made the 50% form before this one, but in order to review them in a chronological order, I have to show this one first. A lot of the changes are to fit him into the design of the other one. We started out by making his ears more pointy and hairier. We then continued with the scarf around his neck. In order to make that look a bit more natural too, we made it look more like spikes instead of the blocky futuristic shapes. It was then time to give him some makeup like eyebrows and we added some sharp teeth as well. Our next step was to make the shapes on his shoulders into sticking out stones and we gave him a furry tail. The last changes we made were some fur spots on his legs and ankles. It was then time for the colors which I made a bit closer to nature colors and we also gave him some pupils in his eyes. The regular Zygarde line doesn't have that which makes them feel unearth like. This is not the direction we're going for, so this tiny detail instantly makes them feel more like an animal. Razor Teeth, the Paradox Pokemon. This Pokemon is extremely fast and runs down its prey with ease. Once it lands a bite, it will instantly cause hallucinations. It is also capable of seeing colors in a higher spectrum as humans, which helps him with hunting. I was struggling quite hard with the idea of fitting this in between the two serpent-like Pokemon, but that is what this line looks like in the games, so I will follow that as well. It is now time for the 50% form of Zygarde, which I actually see as Zygarde. My first thought was to turn this into an actual snake-like Pokemon, so I started by adding a bunch of features onto his face to make him feel like an animal too. Some of these features were the bigger furry eyebrows, the pupil in his eyes and an actual open mouth with big fangs. I also tweaked the markings around his eye to feel less robotic too. The next thing we did was to give his back some fur and added it to his cheek. It was then time to focus on the spikes on his back which I wanted to turn into more creepy looking ones. I managed to do so by making the outer edges into points and sticking green points in the middle of them. The design was missing something at that point because we removed his arm looking things. This is why I gave him some side spikes to fill up this emptiness. Our last step was to use the same design from the back spikes on the tip of his tail and to make the markings all around his body more spiky too. Daunting Cobra the Paradox Pokemon. This Pokemon spends its time roaming the land, scanning for outsiders that threaten the ecosystem. It has started to believe that the only way of healing the ecosystem is by eliminating anything that does even a bit of damage to it. This has resulted in a corrupted mind, and together with its petrifying gaze, it is starting to form a real threat. I never really liked Zygar that much, especially after trying to shiny hunt him in the Dynamax adventures. If you know, you know. 
but this design isn't even that bad. I actually like this design a lot more by simply making it feel more like an animal. I created a brush head with all my favorite brushes. I use each of them in every drawing that I make, so if you want to draw in the same style as me, I recommend checking out my website. For only 5.99 euros, you can get the Procreate brush set, which you will be able to use in Procreate. It includes an amazing line art brush, a highlight brush which instantly makes your pieces look a lot better, and many other fantastic brushes. I also want to have a written down version of how to create Paradox Pokemon, that's why I created this step by step guide. It's easy to follow and I added a bunch more tips you can use while drawing. You will also get the work files of the two Paradox Pokemon we created. And I added two work files with just a line art so you can practice coloring and shading. This guide is also available for 5.99 euros on my website. But since I thought you guys might be interested in buying it together with the brush set, I made it into a combi deal for only 8.99 euros for the both of them. That is a 25% discount. So I know what I would do. <laughs> the fourth stop for today is for the complete form of Zygarde. Once again I must say it feels weird to not be able to implement a lot of serpent like features. But luckily I managed to implement a link to it by adding some teeth into one of his back ribbons. This was such a small detail but I really love the callback to his previous form. Up next we decided to add a bunch of spikes on a lot of parts on his body. On the ribbons on his back, his knees the toes and even on his arms. We also brought back the spiky tips we used on the previous form. I'm talking about the end of his tail and ribbons. I did give him some pointy teeth and spikes around his mouth which gave him a more feral look. The last change I made to him was to add a bit of fur to the bottom of his chest area. The colors looked really good on him and he looked absolutely insane once I added in the highlights and shadows. Complete giant. That Paradox Pokemon. This Pokemon has a good heart and intentions, but seems to have lost his sanity. Its mind is fully corrupted and it's unable to see the evil in its actions. It believes it's protecting the ecosystem when in fact it is destroying it by eliminating everything around it. I actually really love this drawing. It gives me Pacific Rim vibes, a huge robot that fights off hordes of kaiju, but what if this Pokemon is considered a kaiju now? Well, it's now time for the box legendaries again and we'll start with a future form of I felt Hall. We decided on a future form because I felt like a past form would suit this Pokemon best and I didn't want to make it too easy for myself. We started out by replacing his claws with robotic ones similar to the ones we used on the Kanto birds and Ho-Oh. The next thing we added were a bunch of segments on his wings and we also added them to his tail. I then replaced the spikes on his arms with blocky ones which from afar look quite similar to exhausts. The piece already looked quite nice by now but I did another study on future forms which made me realize that instead of following the fur on his back we could choose pointy shapes instead. This added a lot to the robotic aesthetic so let's thank the design of Iron Jugulus and Iron Thorns for this amazing detail. After I replaced the fur I made some changes to the tattoo like elements he has on his wings and tail. I felt like they were too organic, so I changed them into straighter lines. We then added in the eye and added a lot of segment lines to his horns, fingers and open spots on his arms. The colors were slightly different because I added in a yellow color for the lighted parts, which made us able to turn this creature into a dark electric type. Iron Destruction, the Paradox Pokemon. This mechanical terror is said to have been constructed to act as death itself during war times. It holds enough power to bring entire armies to their knees in one move. Its creators have said that they have full control over it, but there has never been full proof of that. Many fear that creations like these will destroy the earth. This is another design which I'm very proud of. I really think we added a good amount of robotic features and I'm especially in love with the spikes on his back. The color and highlights on it look stunning. The shiny is incredible too by the way. And now for the final Pokemon of today, 
a past form of Xerne is. At first I didn't really know where to go with this drawing, but I always just fall back to the things I've learned from drawing all the other Paradox Pokemon. Change the details step by step to figure out what you want to do with the design. This is how I got the idea to turn Xerneas into a goat-like Harry Pokemon. We started out by adding some fur to the spikes he has on his shoulders. After those were in, I added some extended fur on his chest and made his tail a lot bigger as well. Up next were the changes to his face which were basically just a goatee beard and some thick eyebrows. It was at this point where I got stuck again, because I just wasn't sure what to do with the antlers on his head. I know this isn't technically how Paradox Pokemon work, but I decided to remove them and to add back the gems on different parts of his body. We gave him some fur in the place of the antlers and placed the rocks on his knees, top of the tail, added some spikes to his neck for two other gems and placed the last one on his forehead between his eyebrows. For the last changes we gave him some tusks and added some spikes to his feet. The colors were then a combination of the original colors spread out to different parts of his body. Goat of Life, the Paradox Pokemon. It is said that Arceus created this Pokemon to become the master of life, healing every wounded Pokemon it finds. It doesn't like attention though and spends most of his time alone. We change this Pokemon into something that looks a bit more wild but still keeps his knowledgeable presence. I also added in the ice typing because I think this Pokemon would be fine high upon snowy mountains. Let's go. These were all the legendaries of Kalos. I will be taking a break from legendaries for now, but our next video will be giving all the evolutions a paradox form. Huh? But Nick, you've already did that. True, but now we'll flip the past forms into future forms and vice versa. Wow. Good.